The Dub Boy with Dog Food. In this episode, we're gonna make Oyaku Dog. It's a very simple dish that can be made very quickly. One of the base items you need is a dashi, and I'm going to be using the leftover dry shrimp I have to create a dashi broth. I'm gonna simmer that for a little while. And while that's going, I'm going to make、uh, some white rice. Japanese dons are generally made or things topped over rice, and the supermarket did not have the regular green scallion onions, so I'm using these bulbous onions instead. And I'm using, since it's a much bigger onion, I'm going to use the whites to replace what normally would have been either shallots or, or just regular onions. And I'm going to go ahead and julienne the stock, the green portion of it,、uh, to use as a finishing garnish.、Uh, keep in mind these bulbous green onions are much tougher, and they actually require a little bit more cooking. You commonly see them in like Mexican taco restaurants where they basically boil these things in oil or grill them, and they give it to you as a, a side item. I'm putting it here in some cold water to soak while I prepare the rest of the dish. Now I'm going to cut down this chicken thigh here into smaller, bite-sized pieces, and you do want them kind of small because it needs to cook rather fast. Again, this dish can be assembled for dinner super fast. It probably takes as long. As it takes to make rice, realistically. So I'm cutting everything down to bite sizes, and I'm going to,、uh, after this is done, I'm going to marinate them to give it some、uh, flavoring and seasoning. And I'm going to keep it very simple: some salt and a little bit of white pepper. And then after that's done, I'm just going to stir around a bit so that way it. Distributes and has time to soak into the meat itself, so it gives it a little savory and seasoning. Now the stock's been simmering for a while, and it's kind of simmered down. So I'm going to add some、uh, chicken stock that I got on sale. I ran out of my own chicken stock, so like the box says, it helps to elevate the dashi, and it's one of the prime ingredients that's being used. I'm also using a little bit of、uh, cooking wine. Normally, this would actually be using sake and a little bit of sugar, but I don't have any cooking sake, so I'm just gonna go with that cooking wine. Now I'm gonna strain it, and I'm gonna save the dry shrimps for an experiment recipe at the end of this、uh, episode. And it simmered down quite a bit, so I'm gonna add a little more stock, helps cool it down a little bit, and I'm gonna. Set it aside while I assemble the rest of the dishes. Now I normally don't show the whole cooking portion, but this dish is predominantly the cooking portion. So I'm putting in a little bit of、uh, oil. I'm gonna beat up the eggs so it's nice and mixed, but you don't want to beat it up too much because it needs a little bit of fluffy texture, and you want you don't need to stir it completely to where the egg and the whites are homogenous. Now I'm gonna sauté the uh, uh, white portion and the chicken thighs, and then the broth goes in enough to just about halfway. And you're gonna simmer it. I lower the heat to simmer it and give it a little bit of time to for all the flavors to soak in. And I add in a little bit of soy sauce, and I'm gonna let it stir around so nothing burns, and I'm gonna let it keep. Simmering so all the flavors cook, and I give it time for the、uh, onion to soften up. And the funny thing about this dish is, the name is actually means oyakuda means mother and child. And kind of the joke to this is, the chicken is the mother and the egg is the child. When you think about it, it's actually kind of grim. And now I just pour in the egg batter. And I just let it sit and let it start to cook and bring everything together. Lower the heat even more so it gives it a nice 
slow congealing. So it congeals, and I just put on the green stalks for a garnish, and I'm putting it a lot earlier because, like I mentioned, the stock is a little bit tough, so I'm letting it steam down a little bit so it cook. And just keep letting it simmer, move it around every so often. Let it kind of dry up a little and let it kind of solidify. And I'm loose, loosening it from the bottom because I'm going to slide this thing overall off out of the pan and over the uh, bowl of rice. So I already prepped the bowl of rice and I'm loosening up and boom, there we go. Slide everything. Take the pan, rub it through your rice so a whole bunch of it gets stuck to the bottom. I didn't notice that. And that's it. A very simple dish, a very quick and easy meal. Now, here's for the experimental item I was going to make. So I take the rest of my dashi and I'm going to blend it with all this dry shrimp that's now soaked. And I'm going to make a huge mess in the process because that pot is a little bit too small and I'm just splashing everything everywhere. Now my whole kitchen smells like shrimp and seafood. So this is going to take a little while and you're going to go through and blend it until as far as you can so it kind of makes a paste. Now it's going to keep letting it, let it blend and splash shrimp parts all over my kitchen. And I'll tell you, it's going to be quite a mess to clean. So at this point, it's getting kind of homogenous, starting to blend out pretty well. It's creating quite a bit of foam, too. I guess the aeration probably helps to make things a little more fluffy later on. And I'm going to mix it up, check, see if there's anything clumpy into it. And now I'm going to put in a little bit of sugar because ultimately this makes a savory tamago. But I do want to give it a little sweetness too because generally tamago has a little bit of that sweetness and tamago is kind of just a omelet that usually you'll find a japanese restaurant where they put it over a little rice and it generally is kind of sweet but another version of it is where you mix it in with the shrimp parts and that's what i'm doing i'm beating the thing together so it blends in and it kind of you know evens it out with a little bit of shrimp a little bit of uh, the dashi to mix in with the eggs to basically create a mixture to make an omelet. I don't have a tamago pan, and I'm generally not a huge fan of buying single-use type products. So I'm going to try to make little thin pancakes here, and I'm just going to roll it together. Now, this starts off kind of okay, but a tamago pan really would have helped made this a lot better. And I start rolling him and it starts breaking apart. And overall, I'm just going to keep doing this for a while. And you're just going to look at this monstrosity starting to form, which isn't really quite a tamago and really kind of a terrible omelet. And it's kind of hard to flip. And also because of the clumpiness of... And overall, I have to say this dish is pretty much a failure. Taste was okay. It did taste pretty good, actually. But the texture was just gritty and it was just kind of weird. So I would not recommend making this with dry shrimp. Maybe I'll try it again in the future with fresh shrimp and I grinding it down. Hopefully it will make it taste uh, better than this. Because, uh, yeah, this unfortunately went straight into the, the trash bin. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining me on this episode. I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.